Hi everybody, this is Juliana and I'm here to share with you guys a couple of items that I've been collecting at my thrift stores and flea markets and um, I've been finding a lot of stuff. I haven't had a chance to make a video of my hauls, um, just being so crazy busy. Um, but here it is. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Otherwise it's going to be part one and two because there's a couple other things I need to share with you guys too. But I'll make another video for those. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and start with, with this. Um, this is a couple of vintage pieces of jewelry that I found. And I found these at some of my thrift stores. And um, they were really, really cheap. So they were 25 cents each piece. So I just grabbed a couple of them and let me just get them out of the bag here. So let's see, I found this beautiful piece here. This is like porcelain or ceramic or something. It's a really cool piece of jewelry and it has like a beautiful flower in there. So I thought that was very shabby cheek. So I got that one. And then also found this beautiful cross. And um, I just love it. It's super cute. It looks like there's like a little angel in there. And um, I like the pearls and all. So that's really cute. And then so there is this um, vintage brooch type of thing. It looks like the metal part came out. But I can always fix it. And actually it's, it says Avon. So it's probably some Avon locket or something. Um, and then there's this piece of vintage brooch super gorgeous and I love this one too so I don't know what it is it looks like it came out of a necklace or something but it's really cool and I really love like the blue gemstone in the middle it's super cute and then this is an earring piece of vintage earring and I really love this that's really really cool so I got that one and then it had this bracelet as well that um, I could always take apart too. Super cute. I'm sorry, you guys, I have paint on my hands because I've been working on something. Um, and then this, which is another earring, but it's like has some bubbles and stuff. So those are just a few of vintage jewelry that I found. Um, and then also got some of these buttons. These are more vintage buttons. So this one was a dollar twenty-five, and it has a bunch of cute vintage buttons and I, they even have the thread which I really like to, to use those on projects so I got that one and then this one was two dollars and it has a bunch of vintage buttons too absolutely love it and um, there's that and then um, got a couple of frames on my, on my local Goodwills um, I found this one which is really really cool it has like those little um, sequence flowers around it so sorry I don't want you guys to see the light so it's really really cute in there and then um, also got these frames here which were 99 cents each as well at Goodwill and they're just golden but I can always paint them I really like the size of them I, thought, I think they're really perfect for mini albums and stuff so there's those and then um, before I show you guys the laces and all, I want to share with you some flowers I found. So, I found this bag. This was also Goodwill. It says $2.99. And there is some flowers in here. I haven't even opened it up yet. Um, that I thought were really super adorable. So, there's these flowers. And I don't really know what it is. I think they're just for decoration. Cause, yeah, they're not pins or anything like that. So, um, yeah, there's some in like peach and purple lilac, pink, white, just really gorgeous. I thought they were really, really shabby cheek. And then in the back, there's some of the darker colors and some aqua colors and blues and that. So I thought this was really, really good and such a good buy for $2.99. So I got those. And also found this which is really really cool I know um, there's places that sells these in different colors and I found this one at my local Goodwill it was $2.99 and it just has a bunch of these beautiful 
like sprays, flower sprays in like a really nice light peach color. So isn't that just gorgeous? I love these. And it comes with the leaves and all. So there's like a couple of them in the bag. Super adorable. Can't wait to, to play with those. So that's a good find. I normally don't find flowers like that. Um, and then, let's see, there's also this bag. And these I got at my flea market. So there were some of these beautiful, like, vintage roses. These were like 25 cents each. And they're made out of fabric. So I don't know if you guys can see the details. But they're really, really gorgeous, and you can open them up, and then um, the leaves are really nice as well. They're very soft. So I got um, three of those, and also found a bunch of um, millinery flowers. So this bag, I think I paid like $3 for all of these, and there is some in baby pink, like sprays, flower sprays gorgeous um, here's another one and there's a bunch of these white ones as well which are really cool for um, shabby cheek projects here's another pink one and um, another pink one there too and then these ones are really excited because I've never seen this before and I thought they were super adorable so these ones are super cute and they just kind of hang like that. Isn't that adorable? It looks like little bells. <laughs> but um, they're just little flower sprays and it has like the pearl steam on the bottom. So this one is like a beautiful baby blue. And there is also some of them in lilac. So like a really soft lavender color. Super gorgeous and they're so fun you guys. The way they just hang. I just can't wait to, to play with them. And there's just some more of the white ones, some more of the blue. So definitely this was a really great deal and just $3. It was like definitely a steal. So there's some more. This one has like blue and lavender together combined. And um, there's two more in there. And more of the lavender and the blue. And then some in white, and then this one in like a yellow color. So those are the millinery flowers I found. Super awesome. Going to be perfect for, you know, shabby chic projects. So found those. And now let me share with you guys some of the fabrics I found. So I went to a yard sale they were having and they didn't have much. But they, they had like these little pieces of scraps of fabric um, in there. So like all of these little pieces. Which they're like muslin fabric and like this one. Which is much thicker and all. But anyways you guys, I paid a dollar for all of this. And then this beautiful like vintage ribbon here which has tons of it and it's like cotton um, canvas almost fabric as you could see that's that like, little pattern but it's super wide super cool and um, this is going to be really really fun to to play with so if you guys have any ideas on what I can make with these let me know and um, just a dollar you guys for this like it was actually a man who was um, in there kind of watching everything and I asked him how much for all and he didn't know what to tell me as far as the price. So he's like, how about a buck? <laughs> and I was like, that sounds great. So um, that was a really great deal. And then, um, let's see, I found this beautiful like fabric and this came out of something. It's not a dress and it's not a curtain so it could be like a tablecloth or something um actually it came out of something because it has like something here on the top but anyways i got it you guys because the fabric is amazing look at this it's gorgeous and it has um pearls all over it and 
is just really really beautiful so I cannot wait to maybe make some flowers with it or something but it's really like vintage looking and there is tons of fabric it's a really big piece of um, tablecloth so that's what it looks like kind of reminds me of the wedding dresses type of lace so just really really beautiful and I think I paid like two dollars for this because it didn't have a price and so I got it for a really really great deal and it's just beautiful you guys so it was a great find and let's see I also found some of these like plastic table cloths which are really cool um these were 50 cents each and I really like the pattern because this reminds me of like doilies so I'm definitely going to be cutting it out and maybe adding it to the project so there's that one and then oh there's this doily too I found super cute doily and then um, this one is really cool too so opens up really long and then look at that doesn't that looks like doilies it's super cool and it's just like plastic so if you find some of these you can definitely like cut them around and use them in carts and projects so that's what I'm gonna do with these and lastly let me share with you guys some of the laces so found this beautiful doily here and this was just a dollar at the flea market it's super gorgeous you guys very vintage looking and I just love the pattern look at these just gorgeous and it's pretty pretty long and it's just absolutely gorgeous like so beautiful I just kind of want to put it on the table and display it really nice and vintage looking um, and then um, went to one of my local Goodwill stores the other day and I found this bag it was $2.99 and it has a bunch of laces and trim and this one is my favorite so there's a big roll of them and look at this you guys isn't that gorgeous I love like the tatter vintage lace and trims and this one is just beautiful you guys really really gorgeous so it's really excited to find that one and then I it had this too which is really gorgeous I love 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 the pattern on the trim very vintage and uh, let's see there's this one too which is just kind of like a vintage piece of lace that's what it looks like really pretty and then this one this one as well super gorgeous and I just love that cream colors it's just it's perfect already to be vintage because it's not white and um, this one this lace is really pretty too and there's more of the wide lace really pretty and then this one I absolutely love it kind of reminds me of scarf <laughs> so that's what it looks like it's really really gorgeous you guys very beautiful lace so that's that one bag and then um, let's see they also had this one for 99 cents and it's just an elastic okay, that, um, roll of lace here it is kind of like the stretchy kind again and it's white super pretty and definitely stretchy so there's that a huge roll for 99 cents there's that one and um, at the flea market I found this bag and I paid two dollars for it and it has a bunch of laces so some of it is just you know regular lace and there's some of my favorite lace which is the eyelet lace it's super gorgeous so there's some of that and some of this one and I love love this one again this is that cream color and it's kind of eyelet but super gorgeous you guys look at that one really really pretty and there was like tons of it here so there's that bag of lace and then um, here's some more bags of laces that I also picked up so some of them had the price some of them didn't so they were all like the ones didn't have a price for 50 cents and um, unless it was marked so this one was $1.50 which definitely is so cheap 
and there's a couple pieces looks like of just little pieces of fabrics and crochet trim so there's this one and there's this one as well which is really really vintage looking and I just again love the pattern look um, and then that one and then this one you could tell it's like really vintage even have like a couple of stains and all super gorgeous and I normally store all of these kind of together by color um, like I have my all my vintage trims separately here's another one too really super gorgeous so there's that bag and this is the little um, doily from the other one that I showed you guys this is like the the set of that isn't that beautiful I just love the pattern gorgeous and then this one which it looks like it's some little squares of crocheted but it looks like this was actually handmade um, it's really beautiful you guys and there's a couple of squares like that so I don't know what they were trying to make with this but it was really beautiful and I know this takes a lot of time to make because <laughs> for the love of me I cannot crochet at all um, so yeah that was really really great buy very vintage and then this bag here has a bunch of crochet vintage trims too. These ones are more lighter. So this one is white. Beautiful. It's that one. And then this one. It's very gorgeous as well. And this one I think is the same. It's definitely the same. And I just like love the crochet details to that. And then um, this one too. So they're all kind of about the same. And there's some really small ones too, which I like to use for cards and all. So there's that. And there's also this little bag. Some more lace. This one's crochet lace as well. Really beautiful color and pattern. Just gorgeous. And this bag here has some of the thin, the thin um, crochet trim. Love this one. I really like the shape of those. Gorgeous. And this lace here. Which looks very vintage as well. Oops. So that's what that looks like. And there's just a bunch of that. And this one is just regular white. It's very like wide. The eyelet one in white. But it's really beautiful too. So that's what that one looks like gorgeous gorgeous lace in white and then this one it's just regular white lace too and that's what that one looks like so there it is you guys just a couple of more vintage laces and trims I have found and a couple of other goodies out there so that's about it and I will have um, a couple more videos coming up of some other things that I've been finding and stuff and um, a couple of dresses that I've been finding as well. So I can't wait to share that with you guys but I hope you like this video and remember to check out your thrift stores and I've been seeing a lot of you guys finding great deals on your thrift stores and I'm glad that you guys have been checking it out too. So thank you so much you guys for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye!